Oh guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I am so excited to connect my K0 Pro uh, that just came, just shipped kind of quickly. They said shipping yesterday and it's already came this morning. So something going on with Ice River, but uh, I ordered it uh, a few weeks ago, but it came pretty quickly before the new prices actually arrived. I think they're shipping out quickly now before New Year. Chinese New Year. So anyways, uh, what you see here, I have this 200 amp hour lithium battery that been sitting in my truck for a while for backup power on, uh, on my projects. And then I have this Renogy, about a three years old maybe battery that's 100 amp hour. So I have total 300 amp hour. Sorry, it's kind of noisy here in the garage. Where is all my mining craziness going on? But um, I had this two uh, Victron beautiful um, solar charge controllers that work perfectly in the car. I had the solar panel on my car on top of my, top of my truck. So um, now I'm gonna use this here for solar mining. So it's gonna be 100% off the grid. I have uh, four panels sitting around for a long time, kind of waiting for this to happen. And I wanna completely off the grid, nothing connected to power, you could see all this wiring it's crazy but i'm gonna clean up i'm, I'm waiting for different charge controller because this only allowed to pull 15 amp on inch so i'm only doing 30 amp charge which not enough for this project completely but i'm gonna test it out and we'll we'll be on the app actually re recorded on the app so i can show you guys on the screen later so i'm gonna connect to 12 amp what's beautiful about this i'm not gonna use the uh inverter uh, to 120 volt because if I do that I'm gonna be converting to 120 volt and then back using the power supply that's gonna convert back to 12 volt which is nonsense I am gonna be connecting directly to 12 volt output on my charge controller and skip two steps basically it's 80 or 85 percent efficiency on this uh, inverter and then probably another 90 percent efficiency on the uh, PSU uh, server PSU or wherever PSU you're using so you're gonna lose I'm gonna lose potentially if I'm converting back and forth to 120 and back to 12 volts roughly about 25 to 30 percent this way i'm directly connecting to my 12 volts right now and i'll be watching on the uh what's beautiful about this on uh victron you can actually see exactly how much power you're drawing so i'm gonna connect this uh, crazy guy right here it's kind of hard to do with one hand so just bear with me all right so i connected this uh uh, XT60 connector that is on the load circuit right here on my uh, solar charge controller goes directly to my uh, KS0 Pro I connected my Ethernet so the only power I use in this from uh, Ethernet switch basically you need to get internet for these miners uh, it's gonna get uh, online hopefully that red is gonna start blinking uh, and go green gonna start blinking and red gonna go off that means we on connected and that's it you could see there is no other wiring there is solar wires two solar wire coming into the system and there is no other wires this inverter I'm gonna use to test it out also but later uh, what's nice about this system it's gonna tell me how much power I generate from solar panels and how much power I use on the load all in one application. So I don't need to even uh, have any other uh, power meters because everything in this uh, beautiful Victron system um, all managed through app. And it's a Bluetooth control. So I went on a computer, I'm gonna show you guys on my screen. Uh, a phone screen how is it connected and how is it working out I'm gonna have to clean this wiring uh, later probably in the day I'm waiting for updated uh, Victron charger which is gonna allow me just to put everything on one charger and load on the other charger 
and charge everything from one uh, charge controller. Right now I'm using two because one is not enough. Uh, and again, uh, it will be interesting to see if I can run this 24 seven only on this setup. Uh, it is a huge setup if you compare that. Look at, have this huge battery, 100 amp battery, 200 amp battery, all just for this one. I calculated that it should be enough to run power um, without any power connection to the grid, totally solar, 24 seven, and we'll see if that works. Uh, I'll get on the screen once it's already started. So I need to change the pool to my pools. Uh, I'm gonna go on the screen and find this miner and I'll show you guys what it is. It's gonna be miner nine. Nine, now it's I have number nine of my K0 Pro. I have nine of them, and this is going to be specifically for solar mining number nine. So, in all my videos, all the reports from nine will be if it's going to shut off, if it's not enough charge, it's all about number nine. Okay, so uh, let's get that. I'll find the IP number and I'll show you what it is, how we're mining on solar. All right, so using Ice River uh, management tool, what we do, we uh, scan our network and find this uh, minor IP address. And now we can do the configuration here. So we have done already the uh, pool change and my new worker name. We're going to have the name is K0 Pro 9 Solar. So we're going to track it as Solar. Uh, right now it's together with a couple other miners, but I'm probably going to separate this uh, miner. And um, also on this uh, management tool, what's really easy to do is set up the fan speed of the internal speed of the miner. So what we're going to do here is to check the temperatures. Uh, looks like it's been two hours online already, and everything seems to be working fine. So... Um, we are gonna apply probably 90% for the fan just to keep it a little bit cooler. Um, 37.54 and also I added the uh, USB fan outside just because the unit was a little bit kind of warmer. I don't want to get it too hot over there uh, by the battery. So we successfully mining, there is no rejected shares. And um, yeah, the 200, seven giga hash of uh, basically not using any power from the outlet electricity so now we are let's take a look at our power consumption right now just for the minor 84 watts directly to the battery that that's absolutely great uh, power consumption i think in my opinion and um Let's take a look on the next screen on this uh, Victron app, which I really like. It shows every day uh, how much solar panel generate, uh, how much power they generate. And here is at the bottom is power consumption total for 24 hours. Since we just started today, I had it on a test, so I draw a little bit extra power, about 500 uh, a little over 500, almost 600 watts. So right now we, for two hours, I think we added about 150 watts hour on uh, consumption level. So I still have about, I um, think about 2,000, at least 2,000 extra watt hours. So hopefully it's going to run overnight. It's around 10 p.m. now, so we should survive till the sun comes up and we can start to... Uh, harvesting some extra solar energy here for this K0 uh, Pro. So right now it's on the stock firmware um, and we'll, once we run it full cycles, couple days, we'll see if we could have extra energy to upgrade and overclock this and see how much extra power we gonna use. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.